Hey everybody, welcome back. So in this video I was going to show you how I got the printer put back together and my work table cleaned up to a decent degree and take you through whatever changes I've made to get it back together and then show you all the changes I've made in Marlin and maybe test things out a bit. Get sensorless homing working and all that, but I ran into a problem. So before I go into that, let me show you that in order to get the cover back on the um, the control box, oh, and the vendor at Amazon did send me another TMC2209 driver to replace the bad one. That vendor has been very good to me. I highly recommend him, and his links are below in the previous video and will be in this one as well. To get the, co the cover back on the control board, I had to move the fan to the outside because with it mounted on the inside, it hit the heat sinks for the for the stepper driver. So I moved it to the outside. There is enough clearance. Um, my old cover, my old little scoop for it is not going to fit, but um, I can re-engineer that. I think there is um, probably four or five millimeters of clearance between the top of the fan and the bottom of the adjuster nut. So I ought to be able to print another, another scoop for that. If not, maybe just a piece of coarse fabric over top of that or like a piece of net that maybe that fine brass mesh would work as well. So. Also, I printed this little um, LCD mount. It is from somebody on Thingiverse. The author is Blah Blah Guy. I think it might also be in the GitHub repository for the SKR board as well. So, that fit and worked perfect. I didn't have to change a thing. And um, other than that, everything went back together just fine. And um, I'm real happy with how everything fits. The board, the board and all the wiring, really, t everything tucked in really nice. I'm very pleased with it. Now on to the problems. Let's switch it on. Normally, when you switch these on, they first come up to the... Um, I'm sorry for all the fingerprints on it. I guess that's the life of a touchscreen, right? They have fingerprints all over it. They come up into this... Um, touch color touch screen mode and after a few seconds no printer attached should go away and then the temperatures for the bed and the hot end should pop in and you'll notice I'm getting no error messages but one thing you can do on these boards and I gotta tell you when I first started trying things out I was getting crazy movements on X X set the way all the other motors are set Y and Z are set and I'm getting you know 20 millimeters instead of 10 when I tell it to move 10 and it's not moving normally either so I think I got a problem on the x-axis I swapped the steppers around the problem stayed on the x-axis and one thing you can do on these touch screens you can be in this touch screen mode you can also be in Marlin mode now notice I get no error messages here in touch screen mode and there are some things apparently that you have to do in Marlin mode so to get the Marlin mode, you press and hold the button down for three seconds, and then you tap Marlin mode, and then it boots up like we're all used to, and it comes to Marlin mode, except when I do it on camera, all I get is a blank screen. Up oh, there it goes. Let's go, but sometimes you got to press the button before it works, and then you'll see right off the bat, I've got TMC connection error at the bottom, TMC of course being one of the drivers and with X going crazy and not working properly I'm assuming it is the it is the X axis, the X driver that's causing me a problem so my first thought was okay you didn't get the jumper back on right so I pulled the driver off, I checked the jumper, in fact I probably checked that jumper five times and put it back and um, the problem's not going away so I swapped the drivers around and that's not going away either, it's still X acting weird so there's one thing you can do you can go into proner face and we're going to do that and you can send an m122 command which tells it to read all of the all of the all of the tmc stepper drivers so let's go do that now okay so this is a free little program called proner face you've probably seen it before if we plug the printer into the computer via a usb port we set the com port and the speed right we should be able to connect and over here it will tell us printer is now online and we can send all kinds of commands via this little graphic interface and we can come down and type in commands and the command I'm gonna type here is M122 and M122 tells it to read and report back the registers of the TMC drivers 
and let us know what's going on with them. So I'm going to send M122, and since the command to stop it from scrolling endlessly just isn't does not seem to work for me, I'm going to let it read out, and then when the it starts its endless scrolling, I'm going to disconnect. So let's send M122, and here comes the response to it. And this is where it starts its endless scrolling, so I'm just going to tell it to disconnect to stop it. And let's go back up and look. So one thing let's look at is set current on X, Y, Z, E, and E1 is all set to 800. But look at my RMS currents. Everything is the same on all of them except X, which is just crazy high. Max current's crazy high. Um, the vSense is way crazy high. And Stealth Chop is set to false, and it's true for all the others. In Marlin, the Stealth Chop setting for X is tied into Y. You change them at the same time, you can't change them separately. So they're both set to true, and it's reading false. And look at the look at the micro steps. 256. The the, the T steps is zero, and it's max on all the others. And you go down through. I mean, down through PWM scale sum is zero. Um, blank time is 16, different from all the others. U step counts zero. All the others are 40. So you can go down the line, and X is just completely out of whack. And drive registers X. All the registers are empty and, of course, bad response, whereas I have identical registers in all the others and testing X connection error all low. As I said, I've swapped the TMC drivers around. It stays on X. I've checked that jumper underneath the driver many times. I have even tried some stuff on the Internet, which I say that other people found that worked that did not work for me. After many hours of fiddling and farting and thinking about this and looking at videos on YouTube, I started asking for help. And if you guys know me very well, you know I just hate asking for help. I like to solve my own problems. But I finally asked for help from, from Big Tree Tech in a couple of different locations and to the Amazon vendor, and the Amazon vendor said, and I sent the Amazon vendor the problem. I also sent him this output from Pronerface from the M122 command, and he didn't even have a question. He said, the board is bad. I'm going to send you a new one. So there is that. So let's get out of Pronerface and go back and look at the printer again, and we'll talk about this. So the vendor told me it would probably be May 3rd before I received that board, and it is 427 right now, so I've got at least six days to sit and wait, and honestly, I don't think it would be of any value for me to go through the, any of the other Marlins, any of the settings in Marlin with you, since I really can't prove they're right. While I did get sensorless homing and stall guard working on the y-axis, I can't get it working on the x-axis. While I do believe I have the BL Touch set up and working correctly, I can't test it. I can't even home the printer. I can't even print a test cube with it like this. So I'm pretty much dead in the water till I get that board. So I think that's where I'm at. Um, if you guys have any questions, please leave them below. If I can, if you're doing this right now, and if I can help you with settings, let me know below. And hopefully, I'll be back in a week or so, and we will be able to finish this up. One thing I think I am going to do, I think I'm going to order one of those tools that crimps ferrules on. Um, I was thinking about that as I was doing that wiring inside, and I didn't do it because I don't have the tool. The tools aren't expensive. You can buy a kit with all the ferrules and, and the crimper tool in it for 20 bucks or so. So I think I am going to order one of those, and maybe I can clean that wiring up even a little bit more, even though I am actually pretty happy with it. So anyway, that's it for this time. Hope you guys are having a better week than I did, because I have been beating my head against this for several days now. And um, you'll see me again when I have that board, and I might have another video out before them for something else. But you'll see this project back when I have that board, and thanks to everybody who's commented. And special thanks to that Amazon seller who has been so good to me, and I will catch you guys the next time. Bye for now.